Welcome to Bali Texture. Today we have a villa tour for you of Villa Cavia. We're in the heart of Changu. Come with me through this door and let's see what we have popping off today, shall we? What I love about these villa tours in Bali is they're all so unique. So in the opening room here, I have a big, beautiful, <laughs> wonderful tree. There's a pond. Everything is opened up out here. Nice table in the kitchen, comfy spot. And immediately I see this amazing grass pad, which this is a gym in Bali. Most places don't have all this room. This is great for families, great for hosting. You have all this space to set up. We got a pool, we got a hammock. I'm excited to explore today. So this, this is the living room. This is where the living happens. I like that painting on the wall. So something I'm noticing, we got this big deep couch. Could you guys hear that? Over in the pond back here, you have a constant flow of running water to just relax while you're soaking up the views. This couch is amazing. Can fit at least 10 people, maybe more. And I love how everything is so open. It's a really nice touch. Now, walking over here, we have the kitchen. Every kitchen, in my opinion, needs a big, solid, strong wooden table. Yep, that's real. <laughs> then you go back here, you have a nice island. I love the decorations, the paintings. Everything you need to host. This would be a really great place to host, too. So far, this villa is looking right. Comment, let me know what you think of the view. If there's anything here that you would like to try out that you've seen so far. We're curious, let us know as we move on to the next spot. Fun fact, there are no televisions in the bedrooms, which I appreciate. That's why we have a dedicated TV room equipped with a buffet of remote controls, a nice big sinking in cozy couch where you can cuddle up little Netflix and chill, I don't know, or just maybe some wholesome family stuff, if that's your vibe. We got options here. Look at this door. I love this, the ceilings are so high. Big, nice wooden door, fantastic. I wanna let you know that we really appreciate you joining us for these tours. Also, if you could hit that like button and the subscribe, it would really help us out so more people could see these amazing villas. Thank you. Now, this is our first bedroom here at Villa Cavia. Immediately, you see this bed frame that's bold. That is a statement right there. It's really nice. I love the wood. You have the lights. It's backlit. It's very cool. Nice and spacious. And they got a message for you guys. Love. That's all we need. That's all anybody needs. Hmm, I like that. Now, the best part about this room, which you probably didn't see coming, come and take a look at this. Voila! Bam! Look at that. Yeah, that is the biggest bathroom I have ever been a part of. We have his and her sinks, which are lovely. And if you want to follow me, we're out here in the jungle. Take a jungle bath. We got an outdoor shower out here. There's room for activities. They got some beautiful flower petals, pinks and reds and white for us in the bathtub. I mean, this is a dream. If you want, you could set up a table out here, have some morning tea, like we're in nature. We got a little snail friend up here. This is a really cool bathroom. This is, I think, the biggest bathroom I've seen so far in Bali, which is saying something. So. This was a really awesome room. Let's go explore some more. Look at this fun little area. This is where the guests like to relax, chill, maybe sip some tea on a warm Bali afternoon. You got this nice spot and 
You got giant bean bags, which you can take out here into the grass. The grass feels so good. You can lay down, you can sunbathe, and did you guys notice that all around we're enclosed by wonderful greenery? And I got my boy Ganesh over here, the remover of obstacles, looking at me, keeping me safe while I catch some sun. This is another bedroom right next to the living area. And you can see they got more love for us. I love it. Good wooden floors, some nice desk area over here, and this place is very family friendly. Lots of families like to book this place. So you have the two beds here also by request. You can separate them before they, you uh, arrive in case maybe you got a couple brothers or brother and sister. Maybe they want their own space, you know what I mean? So we come back here, nice mirror. Wow, very cool detail on the ceiling up there. They did it again, y'all. Come have a look at this bathroom. Of course we have the his or her sinks. Nice little flower petals, that's a beautiful touch. And then this right here. This wonderful dark wood on the floor. Got the outdoor shower and big slab. Super nice, super duper nice. And again, it's just so nice to like shower outside. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the third bedroom. Now, I love these nooks. I haven't seen these nooks in a while. It's so good for gazing. This is really cool. Check out this photo. So this is a ceremony, and one actually happens every Saturday at Uluwatu. And if you're a guest, they will actually take you if you want to see it, which is really cool. Um, you'll see more love on the wall. I just, I gotta point out, cause it's so great. With my floating Buddha heads. We got this bed, we got a nice tile in here. So this room is a little bit smaller. So it can be another room for guests. Also some guests will bring a nanny with them and they'll put it, they'll let them have this room. But then you gotta see the bathroom. We already know, like we're on a streak with these bathrooms. It's a horsey. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I had to do it. I know guys, I'm lame, I'm corny. If you haven't liked it yet, like for that, because that was, that was a little silly. Outdoor shower, we got all this greenery. I mean, this place is great. Even the detail, like having cool bathrooms like this, again, with the flower petals, his and her sinks, it's great. We have one more room though. We have the master. We have arrived at the final bedroom, the master bedroom, and there is only one word to describe this room, and it is a very architectural word. Dope. <laughs> this bedroom is very cool. I love this look behind the bed. So nice, nice ceilings, comfy little poof over here. Paintings are beautiful, more love. I mean, the frame is really cool, but then like, look at this. Ah, it's so peaceful. I got a super nice breeze coming in. There's a grass pad over here. You could take one of these bean bags out or one of these other lounge chairs and get some sun. You can see the pool, you can see all around. So nice. This is a great spot. Ooh, felt pretty hard there. <laughs> It's relaxing, it's nice. I got on my swim trunks. That means it's pool time. Really nice long pool, cozy places to hang and 
over here, we have a pool just for the kiddos. Again, very family friendly villa. And I have yet to see a hammock in Bali. I think this is the first one. Nice place to lounge and relax while you're in the pool, while you're watching your kids, while you're watching your friends. You got a hammock. I love it. And I'm excited to dip in this here soon. Kavya, I gotta say, we loved you. Thank you so much for hosting. Today was fantastic. Wonderful, beautiful villa. Thank you so much to all of you for coming along today. Before we leave, please give us a like, a subscribe, comment down below. Let us know what you thought of the villa. For more information on Bali Texture or this villa, you can look in the description below.